Hey kids, in this lesson we're going to learn about the most powerful queen. That's the piece that can move like a rook and a bishop together. So you actually have in one piece two pieces, bishop and a rook. Now, queen from here can move straight and capture the star straight like a rook then it can move diagonally like a bishop and capture the star that's why the queen is so powerful let's see here let's see which one can we take there's only one we can take this star on on f2 diagonally like a bishop now we go straight all the way straight like a rock and take this star now like a bishop coming back oh look at that power right queen is really good piece and then side to side like a rock we capture this star wow look at that let's see the next one okay here we have five stars can you figure out which one can we take you can take only one. So you go diagonally back and you capture the F1. Now, again, there is only one star you can take. If you go straight like a rook, you take the star on F8. And now we have to be careful. Now you can take two stars, so we have to figure out which one is right. All right? We can go diagonally, take the star on h6, or we can go diagonally and take the star on d6. So you tell me which one is right. Think about we have to take all of them. Okay? The correct move is queen h6. And then side to side like a rook straight line we take on d6 and now we have a choice to take on a3 or take on g3 both of them are fine so let's take the one on a3 and then we take straight the one on g3 all right look at this excellent okay now we have uh, many stars like three four five six seven stars can we take all of them we need to capture all of them how about you think a little bit without moving the queen you try to visualize capturing all those stars i'm gonna give you a little bit of time okay Okay, this one is, is, is not easy, but we'll practice together, right? So look, queen can take star on g8, or it can go back and take the star on g1. The correct one is star on g1, and then, then we're going to come back all the way straight and take the star on g8 now look we can go diagonally take the star on a2 and then like a rook side to side straight line we take on h2 now we can take the star here straight on h5 and then star on b5 and diagonally we take the star on d3 look we got all of them let's see the next one okay here we have one two three four five six seven eight stars let's first see which one we can take all right there are three stars we can capture we can take this one on d1 one on f2 and one on h1 you need to think and try to 
calculate a couple of moves ahead so we capture all those stars, right? Without moving the queen on the chessboard. First think about the moves and then move the queen. So how can we take all of them? Okay, let me help you. So first, we take the star on D1. Now, there's only one we can take. That's the star on H1. So we take the star on H1. Again, there's only one we can take, star on H4. We take that one, and now we have to be careful because we can take star on F6 and we can take star on F2. Which one is correct? The correct move is to take the star on F2. And then we go straight, take F6. Now we have a choice to take on G6 or to take on A6. The correct move is taking on A6. And then we're going to come back, take on G6, and the last star on G8. Look, we capture all of them, right? So, let's see the queen. Queen is a very powerful piece. You get nine points for queen, right? So, if nine points means uh, nine pounds, right? That's the value of the queen. Queen can move like a bishop and a rook together, right? Rook goes straight, side to side, and the bishop can move diagonally. That is why queen is so powerful. Queen, like a bishop and a rook, cannot jump over her own pieces. And that's all about the queen. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this chess piece, right? I know you're going to love the queen, right? Thank you for listening to me, and I'm going to see you in our next lesson.